I'm going to show you something. So basically, let's say we have oh, wait, this kind of one vector that is column vector, and let's say we have row vector. So sequence row column string. So we have column vector. Now we are going to do some operation. So that is column plus row vector. So that is basically column vector plus this row vector. So that's one thing. We are going to do the reverse of that. So row plus column vector. That is going to be this one plus this one. And I'm going to just check if both are equal or not. So based on that condition both are just equal. I'm going to just copy paste this part and so basically let's do this two as well. Instead of just plus I'm going to just use multiplication. Here same thing just e2 multiply by d and these are equal as well so basically what i'm trying to say is that whenever we are multiplying a column vector with a row vector it doesn't matter if we multiply you know, like you know, row vector is at the beginning, you know, column vector is at the beginning. Uh, in, in both of these cases, it's same. Okay. So we can do like you know, row plus column or column plus row for both multiplication or addition. Now we have a couple more things to consider here. So when we are just doing plus, that means take one column item each time and just do the plus in like you know, one plus. 1, so that's 2, 1 plus 2, that's 3, 1 plus 3, that's 4. Same thing here as well. So it doesn't matter the order. Okay. Uh, so we are always going to take one item of the column vector each time and add with the you know, row vector items. So 2, that 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 2 plus 3, 5, and so on. And for the multiplication, same thing, just instead of addition, we just do the multiplication. So 1 into 1, 2, that's right, 1, 1 into 2, 2, and 3, and 2 into 1, 2, 2 into 2, 4, and so on. Now, we are going to do a little more investigation here, and that is with a little more data set. Okay? So let's say if we have let's say 8 rows, that's okay, column 2. Okay? So we get like this. And we are going to do the same thing, but row is going to be let's say two, and column is let's say three. And let's see if we can just do the addition or not. And what does it three to know? Plus. So when we do this kind of stuff, that when you have like you know more than row and column like this. Then we get this kind of N A N A N A N A. So why this is causing problem? Because I think you can only sum up when it's like this. One into one, that is one into one, two, and then two into two, that's four. And three into four, that's seven. Five four into five, that's nine. And for rest of these cases, this one, we don't have any value in this section. And we don't have any value in this section, so that's the end. Let's see what does it do with the multiplication. I believe that's the same error that we are getting, so it's kind of like an oppositional element. 
multiplication but i think row is this column is two and the rows i think if we do in multiplication that is matrix multiplication i think this will be a valid multiplication yes so this is a valid multiplication so in multiplication and then asterisk it is not the same thing so we need to be careful about that one thank you